All right, welcome back to the show, folks. Almost 444, almost. 443 is the current time. Mm. Stall for three yeah. seconds. Mm -hmm. Damn. Uh, and 444, there, there it is, 444. <laughs> so glad you're waking back up with us. Uh, and Francesca Amaker is joining us back on the show. You guys are so sweet. <laughs> so we'll sure we'll get gifts on that as well. Welcome to the set. All right, time for a little ditty that we like to call, and you're breaking it in for us, too, called Bye. Or sell, mm. buy or sell. We'll tell you about three stories, and you let us know if you're buying into it or you're going to sell it, get okay. rid of it. You guys ready for this? Let's yeah. do it. All right, let's start off with one of my favorite TV shows, next to the Morning Rush, of course, <laughs> The Walking Dead. A lot of folks thinking this show is over because the show has saw its lowest ratings uh, in about five years, uh, pulling in uh, 8.92 million viewers this last Sunday. Now, it had, did go up against the World Series and uh, Sunday Night Football, but that was the lowest it's seen since 2012, the season finale of, the season, finale of uh, season two in 2012. So a lot of people thinking, this show is over. Are mm -hmm. you buying or selling, Francesca? You have to sell it, Chesley. Really? You have, to ch you have to sell it because this show went from this compelling soap opera mm -hmm. to now this cartoonish feel, mm -hmm. and people are not buying it. Like Last it. season, 17 million people watched on the premiere, right? Mm -hmm. Now, look at the numbers. Well, yeah, so well. low, so people aren't buying it anymore either. It's too cartoonish. It's lost the violence, the thriller. Lost all the excitement. Okay. Yeah, no, no more baseball bats with the head and all yeah. that stuff. And, uh, yeah. I was, I've never really a huge fan of it. I catch it every once in a while, mm -hmm. but uh, I, I would imagine after a while, you know, the whole zombie thing is kind of wearing off. Out. You know, I mean, both selling. You got to come up. Yeah, I'm both selling sell. too. Two dollars. Yep, get rid of it. Oh, he's sad. That's All right, show. let's move on to, oh, the, show. Move on to the next Sorry, one. Sorry, Chesley. NBC has reportedly uh, committed to a major motion film TV spinoff, Bad Boys. Remember this movie featuring Will Smith and Martin Lawrence? Gabrielle Union fe was featured in uh, Bad Boys 2, which was a successful sequel to the original Bad Boys, and she will also star in the TV version of this. It was a huge box office success. Do you Are you buying or selling that this could be successful on the small screen? Crash? Uh, both the movies were incredible. She was great in it. I know she played Martin Lawrence's sister. She was the FBI undercover. So, I mean, I'm very familiar with the movies. I love them. Uh, I, th I think she could pull that off. Yeah, I think the ladies are getting bigger roles in Hollywood, stronger female presence like the whole Wonder Woman year. Mm -hmm. I, I think so, yeah. If they buying. get some good scripts, let's get it going. Crash oh, you buying. know, I'm, I'm buying. buying. I'm buying. buying because Gabrielle is winning right now. She just came out with a best-selling book. She's also just wrapped up being Mary Jane. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to say black girls are winning. Yeah. Oh, all right. So, <laughs> like girl magic, like girl magic. We're like agreeing, magic. Gabby. You guys are agreeing. This there is pretty go. good. Pretty good. All right, last one, last one. All right, so the Georgia Bulldogs take the number one spot in this year's first college uh, rankings. This is the uh, what's this now? The third year that they've been putting this out. It started back in 2004, mm -hmm. where they peaked at nine, and then they lost to Georgia Tech mm -hmm. at home, and right. then they dropped down to 15. Uh, are you buying or selling that the Georgia Bulldogs can keep this thing going? Well, I, I think a number one or number two ranking, I mean, sure, they only beat Notre Dame by one point. Mm -hmm. That was kind of a close, but Notre Dame's right up there as well. Uh, you can't overlook South uh, Carolina coming up this week, and you can't overlook Georgia Tech. It's always a tough game, but I, I, I'm buying it. Buying I'm it. buying okay. it. Right. E even though you're above Alabama, and Alabama Nation right now is, oh, and Nick Saban's like, oh, and there's poison <laughs> in the Kool-Aid. <laughs> Uh, I'm buying it. Georgia's a pretty solid team. Buying or selling That's, quickly? I'm definitely buying. Uh, mm -hmm. Love Georgia, and plus we have a big fan base here, so buying. Okay. Yeah. buying. okay, very good, very good. First one, broke it in. And, and by the very way, good. we all know that right, Nick right. Saban mm -hmm. is the devil! Oh, that's his thing. <laughs> all right, folks, don't go anywhere. We'll be back right after this. <laughs> <laughs> it was his birthday yesterday. Happy birthday, devil! <laughs>